Can litigants immediately appeal every order entered by a federal district court, or do they typically have to await entry of a final judgment? We explore those questions in the case In Re Rectus L. Foam Corporation. On New Year's Eve 1986, the DuPont Plaza Hotel in San Juan, Puerto Rico, caught fire. Nearly 100 people died. Many plaintiffs filed lawsuits in federal district court. Those cases were consolidated for discovery purposes in the District of Puerto Rico. Rectusel Foam Corporation was one of the many named defendants. The district court took numerous steps to manage the complex multi-party litigation. For example, it entered a detailed case management order. It also formed a joint discovery committee comprised of attorneys from both sides. A dispute arose over the production of certain videotapes and photographs. The Joint Discovery Committee and the producing party ultimately reached an agreement whereby the producing party would be reimbursed for one-half the costs of the production. The district court entered an order reflecting the agreement and ordered all defendants to share equally in the reimbursement costs. Rectusel objected and asked the court to reconsider its order. The court denied Rectusel's request. Rectusel appealed to the First Circuit. In addition, the district court entered an order supplementing the original case management order. That order allocated certain discovery expenses equally among all defendants and third-party defendants. Rectusel filed a petition for writ of mandamus and asked the First Circuit to quash the cost-sharing order. The First Circuit consolidated Rectusel's appeal from the production-sharing order and its mandamus request. It resolved both questions in the same opinion.